What's up everybody? Just piddling around with my bow and uh I'll show you something I'm pretty excited about. As you know, I just picked up this uh this Black Widow PAC. It's got carbon limbs, that's what the C stands for for Black Widows. But uh PAC, 42 pounds at 28 inches. It's a uh, 58 inch bow, it's pretty short, but I, I like it for the tree stand. It's got a mountain muffler custom string on it. So these are the arrows that I wanted to use with this bow just because this is I just bought two dozen of these. Um, and I haven't quite tuned them up yet, so but I was playing around and they're hitting a little stiff, but I'm getting a new string for it, so I didn't want to tune my uh, these arrows up or cut them off any because I didn't want it to change when I get my new string. So I just got to playing around and I, I grabbed my old arrows, my beaming center shots here, my 400 spine beaming center shots, um, and I shot one of those and it was hitting a little stiff still, so that was with a 125 grain point. So I was like, you know what, I got some 150s and some 175s. Let me throw the 175 grain point on there and see how it hits. And never gonna believe this. Check this out. I'm gonna take a shot right here real quick, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the camera. And show you. Back up to your box. Number eight, ten steps, whatever this is. Check this out, y'all. Came back here like this. You were back. <laughs> Almost surprised me every time. So whenever I bear shaft tune too, I go through my, my full shot sequence and I aim right for the uh, very center. Like there's a bunch of grid squares in this thing. So I aim right for the center grid squares. I talked about this in my other video. Look at this thing. So this is straight on with the target. Look how straight that thing is. Look at that. And it's a, what a half inch off of the center of that grid square. So I was like, dang. These things are shooting pretty good. Let me uh, grab the rest of these arrows and try them out a little bit. So I went and I put 175 grain points on all these arrows and these things are shooting so nice. So this might be the arrows I use for now for this bow. Well, if it wouldn't pass through the target, it would have been a good shot. My target shot out there. Tell you what, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna aim a little further forward in the shoulder. That way we can see where I'm actually hitting. So I'm, gonna, I'm aiming a little further forward, like right on the point of that uh, where that uh, piece comes in. So yeah. there you go. Try it again. Shoot about five or six areas here for you. This thing is so quiet. So super quiet. This mountain muffler string really takes the, the snap out of it. This thing is so nice. It goes right where I'm pointing to. Crazy, I've only had this bow for like two days. I haven't even shot it that much. Another pass through. I'm about to quit shooting these arrows at this target or I'm going to tear all my flexions off. These aren't too bad though. These are pretty. Uh, robust i flex these up myself with four inch uh shield cut feathers i really like the look of them the orange just doesn't show up very well and uh like i thought it would i thought it'd be a lot brighter but it didn't really show up very well in videos or to my eye so shoot one more here for you Just because, even though I got a really nice group going on there, I'm gonna try to put this one right between all those. <laughs> all right, come check this out. So from here, it's about 16 yards. Guys, check this out. Let me lower my. Lower my uh, tripod down here so you can actually see. Man, look at that. And my one, my, I can't remember if one or two pass through, but the ones that pass through, they go, they go right through here in this uh, area and they shoot through the back. So, but check out how tight that is. 18 yards. I mean, I couldn't ask for much better than that. You know what I mean? So, I think that these are going to be my, my hunting areas for a while for 
for that bow. I was gonna try to wait kinda and, and switch things up, but it's just shooting so good. I might just uh, might just stick with that, so we'll see. But just wanted to show you because I thought it was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it, so thanks for watching.